at beautiful Savior Lutheran Church. This is our five o'clock worship service, but since we are missing the person who usually uploads it, you may see it anytime during the day. We are, are recording live, we're streaming. Today is St. Francis Sunday, and so instead of our normal um, service of evening prayer sort of thing, we are going to have the structure um, according to St. Francis, and there is a time in the service when if you have pets, you are welcome to hold them, to bless them, and if you don't have a pet, to think about what animal you want to lift up, or animals. Um, you might even have a picture of an animal that you pull up and think about, because this is a day we think about creation. Even though Kirsten said last week was the end, it is natural to end with animals today. So we now begin. Jesus Christ, we assemble with all your creatures in this circle of life. We, we ask, ask you, you to, to join, join our, our circle, circle and, and celebrate, celebrate with, with us. Jesus Christ, as we join in celebration with you and all creation, we, we ask, ask for your blessing, blessing, your shalom, on, on the creatures that we love and all creatures celebrating in the wild. In the name of God who creates all life, in the name of Jesus Christ who redeems all life, and in the name of the Spirit who renews all life, we cry with all in the circle of life, shalom, 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 shalom. may your blessing come. Dingoes and dogs, large and small. Praise, Praise the Lord. All rabbits, hamsters, and guinea pigs. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. All cats and ferrets, tame and wild. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. All goldfish, guppies, and swimming creatures. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. All parakeets, gulls, crows, and singing birds. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. All giraffes, hippos, bears, and elephants. Praise, Praise the Lord. All horses, cows, llamas, and sheep. Praise, Praise the Lord. All lizards, snakes, and crawling creatures. Praise, Praise the Lord. Every animal in the sky, the sea, and the forest. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. Lord, for all the animals in the whole wide world, we, we thank, thank you, God. God. Lord, for all the fun and fellowship we have with animals. We, we thank, thank you, God. God. Lord, for all the times we have hurt or neglected animals. We, we are, are sorry. sorry. Lord, for all the times we have used poisons that have killed insects and animals. We, we are, are sorry. sorry. 
Lord, for all the times we have destroyed the homes of animals in the forest, oceans, or fields, we, we are, are sorry. I speak for Christ. For all your sins against the creatures of earth, I forgive you and call, you, uh, call upon you to honor and protect all animals. Yes, I speak for Christ. May the animals of the earth be your companions in life and lead you to celebrate your place in the circle of life. Amen. 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 Shalom. 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 As we come home to earth, Christ, Christ have, have mercy. As we seek to love our home, Christ, Christ have, have mercy. As we seek to care for our kin, Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth peace with our kin in creation. Now we pray. Source and sustainer of life, your first covenant of mercy was with every living creature. Water, earth, and sky are yours, as are all their inhabitants, wild and tame. We thank you for creatures that nourish and serve us, befriend, enrich, entertain, and protect us. God, God our, our creator, creator. Help, Help us to, to love, love all creatures, creatures as kin, kin, all animals as partners on earth, all birds as messengers of praise, all minute beings as expressions of your mysterious design, and all frogs as voices of hope. Amen. Our first reading from the original testament is from Genesis. And God said, let the waters bring forth swarms of living creatures and let birds fly above the earth across the dome of the sky. So God created the great sea monsters and every living creature that moves of every kind with which the waters swarm and every winged bird of every kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let birds multiply on the earth. And there was evening, and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth every living creature of every kind, cattle and creeping things and wild animals of the earth of every kind. And so it was. God made the wild animals of the earth of every kind and the cattle of every kind and everything that creeps upon the ground of every kind. 
and God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make humankind in our image according to our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air and over the cattle and over all the wild animals of the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created humankind in God's image. In the image of God, God created them. Male and female, God created them. God blessed them and said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. God said, see, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is upon the face of the earth and every tree with seed in it and in its fruit, you shall have them for food and to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has the breath of life. I have given every green plant for food, and it was so. God saw everything that God had made, and indeed it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. The epistle is from Revelations. Then I looked and I heard the voice of many angels surrounding the throne and the living creatures and the elders. They numbered myriads of myriads and thousands of thousands. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all that is in them singing. To the one seated on the throne and to the lamb be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. The Gospel from Matthew chapter 6. Jesus said, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your span of life? And why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin, Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. And a reading from St. Francis. My brother and sister birds, you should greatly praise your creator and love the creator always. Creator gave you feathers to wear and wings to fly and whatever you need. God made you noble among creation's creatures and gave you a home in the purity of the air so that though you do not sow or reap, God nevertheless protects and governs you without your least care. These are the readings for today. Today, we're we're just going to reflect together a bit about creation and and creatures and the the witness that St. Francis gave us with his life. Um, Do one of you want to tell the story of St. Francis a little bit? St. Francis was a, a very interesting person. He began his life, um, as one who had many, many things, but he decided to give them up. And he, as he walked the land, he saw a crumbling church building. Its roof was gone. And he decided that he might gather others and together they might restore that church building. And he dedicated them to God and to all of God's creation. And as he gathered others in that community to restore that church building, 
he began expanding his uh, focus to not only the creatures around, but all of God's people who needed sustenance. Many people began gathering around him to help the creatures and also to help those who were poor. And as St. Francis lived, more and more people gathered to him and to the way of life that he was creating. There are many stories about St. Francis, and perhaps someone else would like to share. Well, I want to move on to scripture a little bit, but thank you. Uh, just a little bit of history with St. Francis and the, the, the way he interacted in the world and saw God at work through the creatures and um, recognized that God also found the creatures beloved as well as the outcast in all people. So one of the things I had never picked up until preparing for this service is that in Revelation, it mentions that among those around the, the throne and, and people and creatures that are uh, praising God are that all living things were there. I just hadn't really recognized that before, including things on and under the earth and in the sea um, and singing to God. What are your thoughts about um, creation being part of the praise and the, what will be in our end when we are present before God? I'm reminded of the interconnection of all things. Uh, there is a forest of trees, uh, particularly in one place in the United States. And they have discovered that all of these trees are part of the same organism, every single one of them. And as scientists have more and more looked uh, at the nature of the inner connection of trees and other things, uh, there are amazing ways in which trees tell each other if they are in need. And they can even share things like water and nutrients through a series of interconnections under the ground. I learned that river birches need other river birches to help hold each other up so they don't fall over. So um, we forget the interconnectedness. We really do. And when you think about, uh, I think people very often will focus on the part where it says, uh, humans have dominion over. And I think that when we hear that, then it's kind of uh, this feeling of everything is here to serve us and how that doesn't serve God. And if we're not caring for creation, if we're uh, just harvesting, harvesting without uh, caring for the creatures and caring for the earth, then the earth cannot care for us in the end. Mm -hmm. That translation of the Hebrew there about, that's often translated as dominion. The word in Hebrew actually means to caress lovingly. Uh, it is connected to a word that means to uh, care for a horse, to care for uh, one of God's creatures. And to tame it, you need to caress it lovingly rather than try to beat it or what we say, have dominion over it. I like that term, caress mm -hmm. lovingly. Do you know the word for subdue? The, it, it is sad that the words that are in our script, or in the English translation now, tend to be words that kind of are over mm -hmm. and focused on self or, or controlling versus that interaction. Do you know the word? For subdue, I don't know. I haven't studied it in a while. Is this because it says subdue and have dominion? So, not sure. Yeah. Okay. So when I lived in um, Arkansas, there were this came up a few times, and that some of the evangelical churches 
that were there felt like it was not, that God would take care of everything and we could just use the um, world as we wished and it would be fine because God would just kind of recreate it. And um, that it was kind of that idea that it was all given for us, for me. And um, while I was there, there, that seemed to be the season of an awakening, even in the uh, evangelical church, where the young adults and the, the youth were saying, we've got to protect the earth. Um, we're the ones that are going to inherit it. And that the understanding of dominion and subduing was not about um, controlling and using up, but that we had responsibility to care for. And I really appreciated that turn. We're still not turned. There's still a lot of fight happening in our, our world, especially around climate change. Um, but if we think about the critters and the, the air and the trees and all that's created as being a part of the relationship that we are all in, I noticed today that it was very much, we are, were all created by God and blessing um, creation and, and God saying, be fruitful and multiply. We are among those that God created. We are not totally separate from the rest of creation. So it, that struck me today too. How, how about you, any more on the dominion or the creation? Interconnected care. Yeah. I, I think about our recent uh, experiences with wildfire and all the smoke, and we were sheltering inside and trying to have filters to make the air uh, sustainable for our bodies. And then suddenly I thought about the birds and the creatures that did not have a place to go to that were stuck in the outside. Uh, and didn't have filters, and I wondered, and wonder what the ramifications will be for all those creatures. We, I don't remember how many people died in the end, but it was a lot lower than it could have been, mm -hmm. but I kept, which is, thank you, that it is that way, um, but I did think about how many creatures might not have made it out and beyond, and I thought the fires, but my um, smell of death mm -hmm. to me because I kept thinking about the plants that had died, but the animals even more. Yeah. So, and the plants that died that give the animals and us life mm -hmm. then aren't there anymore either. Yeah. yeah. I read that a group that uh, I can't remember which animal it is that might go extinct because of this because oh. enough had been killed and they're their special land that was exactly suited to their needs is pretty much destroyed. So they're not sure they can save those animals. So I am thankful for St. Francis and his focus and that it guides and still inspires us mm -hmm. and hopefully can help us be better curators and, and caretakers of the earth. And I think it's the fact that the current Pope is um, Pope Francis and tries to embody that way of interacting in the world and care for um, the least and the lowly. I think it's something that a lot of we Protestants have, or at least some of us that are of the main line or more liberal um, are responding to it over his time, that there's something very hopeful and whole, wholeness oriented in some of what the Pope has brought to that office. So, yeah. All right. So, we forget how interconnected we are and how much our well being is reflect, is held within the well being of the earth, of all creation, and that because of our rejecting some of what God created us to be, it has brought 
suffering upon the earth from the very beginning when we um, decided to try to be God. So it's, it's something to ponder more than once a year and to involve ourselves in doing things to bring healing. And we'll see. That might be a part of what our call is next. All right. Let us pray. God of creation, God who makes all the animals and the plants and the people, be with us as we pray today that we may feel your presence and know your love. For what else do the people of God pray? We pray for the people who are at the southern border of the United States, that they may have sustenance and care, and especially those that are fleeing persecution and, and imminent death, that they may be given sanctuary. We pray also for our partner church, El Divino Salvador in Tijuana, and the blessing that they have been to us and that we have been able to be to them. We, pr we pray that you would sustain them in this time. Just as we have prayed and continue to pray for the, the millions that have had COVID, for the thousands, hundreds of thousands who have died, um, in this tragic time, we have the world around and in our United States. We also pray for our president and first lady and ask for their healing and health. We continue to hold all medical professionals who risk their health as they care for people who fall ill, all those who are first responders, all those who provide care for the community by being open for groceries and the like, and as well as for people who continue to experience lasting symptoms, may never recover from the symptoms of COVID-19 itself, and all the families, the multitudes who have lost loved ones and are grieving during this ongoing pandemic. We also pray, oh God, for others with other health concerns of our congregation, Robert, Joan, Betty, Gary, Dan, Joe, Lynn, Mary, Patty, Barbara, John, Bonnie, Mike, and any we name before you now. Carol, Greta, Myron, Dan. Loving God, in your wisdom, you created a world rich with diversity. Today, as we acknowledge National Coming Out Day happening this coming Saturday, we give thanks for the gifts of sexual orientation and gender identity. We celebrate with our queer, transgender, bisexual, lesbian, and gay siblings who choose to come out and honor those who do not. We say yes to the diversity among us within ourselves, our families, our neighbors, and our communities. Lord God, for all these things and whatever else you see that we need, be with us, grant us peace, grant us understanding, and make us better caretakers of your earth. This we pray in your name. Amen. Amen. Let all things now living a song of thanksgiving to God the Creator triumphantly raise who fashioned and made us, protected and stayed us, who still guides us on to the end. 
of our days. God's banners are o'er us, God's light moves before us, a pillar of fire shining forth in the night. Till shadows have vanished and darkness is banished, as forward we travel from light into light. God rules all the forces, the stars in their courses, and sun in its orbit obediently shine. The hills and the mountains, the rivers and mountains, the deeps of the ocean, Proclaim God divine. We too should be voicing God love and rejoicing with glad adoration. A song let us raise. In all things now living, unite in thanksgiving to God in the highest. Hosanna. Let us share the peace of the Lord with one another, with the animals in our homes, and all of creation. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and also, also with, with you. Thank you. Peace, peace of the Lord. Lord. And now we recognize and um, say thanks to all those who contribute to the life of this congregation and share their passion as did the um, Mexico mission folks who had a shred day yesterday and earned $1,873 or something like that to um, go next year to uh, the mission in Mexico of building homes. And we'll be doing so again. We give thanks to the uh, LWR, we've mentioned them before, they're getting really close to having a uh, quilt and kit sending. We'll celebrate that in a while. As well as all who send their contributions through the mail or using the online um, giving possibility. We give thanks for everyone's generosity. We now pray. God, our creator, through your love, you have given us these gifts to share. Accept our offerings as an expression of our deep thanks for a life that includes all the animals and other creatures that have enriched our lives. With, With all, all animals around the throne, we bless the Lamb of God. Amen. We are going to be reading a, a blessing from um, Jan Richards, I wanted to acknowledge the author of this blessing. You who created them and called them good, bless again these creatures come to us as a blessing, fashioned of fur or feather or fin, formed of flesh that breathes with your own breath, that you have made from sheer delight that you have given in dazzling variety. Bless them who curl themselves around our hearts, who twine themselves through our days, who companion us in our labor, who call us to come and play. Bless them entirely tamed, and so remind us that you love what is wild, that you rejoice in what lives close to the earth, that your heart beats in the heart of these and creatures you have entrusted to our care. And you are invited to hug your animals if you have them or to say your private prayer for them at this time. The Creator be with you and all creation. And, and also with you. Open up your hearts. We, we open, open them to our, our Creator. Creator. Let us give thanks to our Creator. It is, it is right, right to, to join, join creation, creation in thanking God. God. It is right to give you thanks, loving Creator. Your word is the impulse for all things to be. 
for space, stars, and stardust to appear, for earth to emerge from the deep, for life to be born of earth, and for humans to be born of earth and the spirit. You chose to be born a human being, to become a part of earth, to suffer, die, and rise from death, to redeem humankind, renew creation, and affirm all born of earth and the spirit. Your presence is the living impulse in all things, the Christ deep among us, filling earth, land, sea, and air, filling every element and place, filling the grain and the grape we share with you this day. Therefore, with angels and archangels, ancient voices in the forest, high voices from the sky, deep voices from the sea, and the whole company of creation, we proclaim your presence among us, speaking these words. Holy, 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 God of all life, earth and sea and sky and all things that exist, are full of your presence and glorify your name. Amen. Amen. On the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus knew what was coming and still gave of himself to those who would betray him and those who would forget about him for a time. At that meal, Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to all to the saying, take and eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, and after giving thanks, he gave it to all to drink, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. It is shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sins. Do this for the remembrance of me. And let us pray as our table grace, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. I think there's something else we might need to say. Your microphone's inside your... Okay. That's what happened is my mic fell. All right. Um, thank you. Uh -huh. In a moment, we will... Yeah, it fell off, so I'm just going to hold it for the moment. In a moment, um, after we do some more reading, there will be the distribution of elements. Anyone who believes in Jesus as Savior of the world is invited in to share in this meal that is um, from Jesus. This is Jesus' table. It might be the Spirit is moving you to partake, and you don't even know why. It might be the way that the um, Holy Spirit is revealing Jesus to you. So even though we are not all joined together in community, we are one community. We are connected through our love for Jesus and through the Holy Spirit. And so um, you at home are invited to partake of Christ's body and blood, understanding that through the Spirit, this is possible. Um, I'll speak the word later. Come, for all things are now ready. Come to the table with all your kin and share with all in need. The gift of healing for those of pain. The gift of forgiveness for those in sin. The gift of assurance for those in doubt. And the gift of hope for those in tears. May, May we, we share, share these, these gifts, gifts, share Christ with, with one another, and, and all our kin. kin. And we speak together. Lamb, Lamb of God, God who, who takes, takes away all sin, sin against, against God, God, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes, takes away all sin against earth, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away all sin from the world, receive our prayer. 
the body of Christ given for you, the blood of Christ shed for you. The body of Christ given for you and the blood of Christ shed for you. And today I will share from this table with creation. A little bit, not all. Let us give thanks for this meal. We, we thank, thank you, Christ, Christ for the meal we have, have celebrated with you. And we pray that through your body and blood, we may be healed and become agents of healing for earth. Amen. Amen. Christ calls you to be his disciples, to serve him with love and compassion, to serve earth by caring for her creatures. Will you care for creation? We will care for creation. We will nurture our animals. We will celebrate the circle of life with them. And now a prayer that is um, attributed to Francis of Assisi. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is faith, doubt, faith. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is hatred, let me so love. Where there is discord, union. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is sadness, joy. Before we hear the final blessing, we're going to sing a song after the blessing. It is hymn number 538. For those of you that joined in the worship service this morning, uh, it's the last hymn that we sang there. If you don't have the words, never fear. It's not so hard. Join in as you're able. And now, blessing. May the Spirit of God, who is above all and in all and through all, fill you with the knowledge of God's presence in earth and the pulsing of Christ within you. Go in peace, serving Christ and loving all creatures. We, we go, go in, in peace, peace, serving Christ, Christ and, and loving our animal kin. kin. Send us forth with hands to serve and give to make of all the earth a better place of live. The Lord now sends us forth with hands to serve and give to make of all the earth a better place to live. The angels are not sent into our world of pain to do what we were meant to do in Jesus' name. That falls to you and me and all who are made free. Help us, O Lord, we pray, to do your will today. The angels are not sent into our world of pain to do what we were meant to do in Jesus' name. That falls to you and me and all who are made free. Help us, O Lord, we pray, to do your will today. 